Don't panic, it's not the rainbow gay thing, it's just the, the screen. It's 12.37 Tuesday, March 6th. We're going to call this uh, video the chain of command. I don't know where all this uh, gun control thing is going to go, and I know how bad it could go. And I know how people are going to react. And I think if something does happen, guys, uh, a lot of the people who have been outspoken will start disappearing. And you're going to be on your own. And you're going to have to reach down in deep, grab some fortitude, grab some resolve to keep up the fight. Don't give an inch. Uh, after a while, uh, if this video stuff doesn't work out, you're going to have to, uh, well, no, I should rephrase that. You should know inside your, your gut feeling uh, when to keep your mouth shut and don't use the phone, don't use the internet to connect with people. Uh, you could use your phone to, you know, get a hold of them and then have a prearranged place to, to meet and uh, talk and be aware of outsiders. Also be aware of people trying to change your mind in some way, shape, or form because they've been after uh, pastors and preachers and religious folks for a long time uh, to uh, change your mind. I don't trust anybody. I mean, a, a preacher can say, you know, yeah, I'm God-loving, and that's like saying that uh, a dem Democrat is God is constitutional-loving. You don't trust anybody. You trust the people that you know. Outsiders, uh-uh. Just like out there with uh, Randy Weaver and them, you know, they'd have people trying to infiltrate... Uh, the system and it's always been that way people want to learn you know about the other side just remember you can do the same thing uh, use your head educate yourself uh, like I said if you people at the stop at the top stop start falling off it's gonna fall into your lap whether you want it or not so educate yourself on the Constitution and educate those who are below you. It's got to be some kind of a chain of command, and it really can't be in the in the kind of situation that we're we're in. Uh, you're going to have to get together at some point, everybody. You know, you know, it, it's got to be like you know going out to vote. The majority. Same thing, same aspect. And yeah, you're going to be afraid. Because it's something new, it's out of the blue. And you're not really sure, you know, what step to take. But you have to take, have to take baby steps until you become more sure of yourself. But like I said, the, the trust thing is... Uh, it always bothered me about some of the religious people. You know, they talk godlike while you're there and then turn around and they're complete hypocrites. But that happens with, it, with anything. Um, that's pretty much about all I have to say tonight. I had, this was on my mind. I wanted to get it out now while there's still time to get it out. Is that, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen the next day or the next day or the next day. But until you get rid of those Democrat communist agents and Republican communist agents, they're going to tear this Constitution apart. They're going to divide, conquer, and they try to do it peaceful, you know. 
They use words instead of guns. It's easier to fight somebody when they have guns, but when they're using words, and you don't have that vocabulary or something like that, it kind of puts you at a disadvantage. We have Republicans in office now that they just don't have the backbone to really stand up to the Democrats because they get really downright mean with their words and they're, they're so quick. They're like, a, they're like a fully automatic gun going off, those Democrats, whereas the Republicans are more laid back. But we may have to do something like if we can't trust these people so much, we're going to have to put in independent people that we can trust. Vote them in. You've got to be aware of these people. That you, you've got to really dig into their background to find, find out what these people are, are about before you put them into office. Because once they're in office, they're a bitch to get out. It's kind of like getting rid of cockroaches. Once they're in there, it's a hell of a time to get them out. You know, it takes a long time. But well, we don't have a long time. We've got to get this country straightened up now. We let it we let it fall so so far, you know, we only got like like a foundation left. We're gonna to have to build on that foundation. Okay, I'm I'm out of here.